Hi guys, my name is Liza. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're doing a new weekly reading vlog. So it is currently Sunday, May the 15th right now. And I wanted to give you all some updates. I've continued reading some more of Love by Night and it's okay. Like I don't hate it as much as I did in my previous vlogs, but I'm still not like super big on it. I want to read some more of the burnout generation this week and then I would also like to finish reading Quarks and get a chunk of the way through Snowflower and the Secret Fan. I have a lot of plans this week because my friend who I'm reading Snowflower and the Secret Fan with is actually coming in to visit me. So I'm super excited about that. But I actually have to run off to work and today I'm working from 12.30 to 9.30. And so I'll try and get some reading done on my lunch break and I'll update you guys when I get back. Hey guys, so it is currently Tuesday right now and I wanted to hop on here and give you guys some updates. So I've had a pretty productive day. I've done a little bit of editing and I also ended up finishing a comic. I ended up finishing reading Quarks and I absolutely loved it. I gave it a solid three stars, but I'm thinking that I might bump it up to four. I had a lot of fun reading it, and they even had a lot of interviews in the back with the artists and the illustrators and the authors, and it was just like, it was such a cute read. I got out of breath there for a minute, sorry. So the comic series is a collection of strip comics that was actually created as like a weekly web comic, I believe and they ended up publishing it into a book form and it basically revolves around different people's habits as they read and different like mannerisms that people have when they read so it was really cute a lot of it was really comical and funny and it was very light-hearted i know that the illustrator and i believe the author have also done a few other books that i might check out but I really enjoyed it, and it's definitely worth the time to invest in reading it. Alright, so the other really exciting update that I have for y'all is I have my friend that's coming over this week, and she's coming from California. She's the one that I've been reading Snowflower and the Secret fan with, and I'm super excited to see her. And I had requested off about three days to go and hang out with her. And I looked at my schedule today and I realized that they gave me all the time off that she's going to be here with me. So we're trying to figure out what we're going to do with the extra days because her plan was to fly in and then go to a concert. And so now we're trying to figure out if there's a way that I can go to the music festival slash concert with her. We're really excited to see each other. We haven't seen each other since I think last summer and we ended up going canoeing on that trip and that was a lot of fun but i haven't seen her in a while and she's been studying in vet school so she hasn't really had a lot of time she and i try really hard to get into contact with each other at least once a week and talk on the phone but it's really hard to do with all the studying that she has and all the schoolwork and extracurriculars so i'm just really excited to be able to see her face to face Today I actually have to close for work and I'm going to be in the seafood department and then I should be home at around 9.30 or 10 give or take depending on how busy it is and I'll be able to give you guys some updates then but I think I'm going to go and try and do some more reading and I'll talk to you guys in a hot minute. Hey guys so it is currently Wednesday right now and I wanted to give you guys an update. As far as reading goes, I finished reading a comic series called I Left the House Today. I've seen this artist's comics on the internet for a really long time and I didn't realize that she had released a book. And I actually found it on Scribd and I went through and I read it within like a matter of two days. So I really ended up enjoying it. It was really funny. It was really heartfelt. A lot of the comics had to do with her and her boyfriend and her life in college and so I thought that it was really cute and overall I really enjoyed it and gave it a solid four out of five stars. 
As far as other books that I'm reading right now, I'm also continuing through Waves and I got a chunk of that done today. I'm hoping that I'll be able to finish it probably in the next two days if I'm lucky. But I do have a lot of plans going on right now so we'll just have to see. I am about to go to work but there's so many things happening today that it's just making my head spin. The first thing that's happening today is I'm upgrading my phone and we got me a new phone. I haven't had a phone in about six years, so it's a pretty big upgrade for me. I'm going from the iPhone 8 Plus to the 13 Pro Max, and it's going to be super different. I'm really excited, and it's supposed to get here today, and I can't wait to transfer all my stuff over. So that's the first thing. The second thing that's happening is my friend Fee is flying in from California tonight. And she's the one that I've been reading Snowflower and the Secret fan with. I haven't seen her in about a year. The last time we saw each other, we actually went out kayaking together. And so I'm super excited to see her and I'm excited to be able to talk to her and just meet up with her face to face. And so she's coming in tonight at about 12 o'clock midnight give or take and so I'm really excited about that but we're trying to get the house ready right now trying to do a little bit of cleaning and prepare for that and then the third thing that's happening is we're gonna try and go and see a band tomorrow together now this is kind of a last minute thing where technically I'm supposed to be on shift tomorrow but I asked my boss if it would be okay if he could find some coverage for me and I could just switch shifts with somebody else. The reason that we want to do it this way is because somebody that she knows is actually part of one of the bands that's playing and we're really excited and we really want to see her play specifically. And the only time that she can actually play is during one of the days that I'm on shift. So I talked to my boss yesterday and I've tried to explain the situation to him. I've been working at the same place for about four years, so I do have a little bit of seniority, and so I think that he's going to try and see if he can cover that shift for me with somebody else. But I'm not technically gonna know until I go into my shift today. But I'm really wanting to go to this concert super bad because the last time that Fee and I went to a concert together was like when we were 14 and we went to Toby Keith. And this one is more like heavy metal, like headbanger music. And I've never been to a concert like that before. So I'm really excited. I really, really, really want to go. But if they're not able to find coverage, then I'm just going to have to go into my shift and miss it. But Brayden is going to be going and her and I are going to be going. And we're going to meet up. Uh, with the band there and hopefully be able to go and see them and talk to them and everything So I'm really excited about it. I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much for it, but It's kind of hard not to so it's just one of those things where we're just gonna have to see but anyway, I'm gonna go and read some more of waves and I'm gonna charge my phone up a little bit and I'll update you guys when I get back from work Every few days I feel like I have to go out here and check the plants because we're in the middle of a big drought and normally they're supposed to be watered about like once a week or so but it's been so dry out and it hasn't rained really and so we've been having to water them every day. I think my favorite plant right now is this guy right here with this purple flower. So we are going off to see a band today. Rest of this weekend, but fuck that shit. We're only with each other for a short amount of time, and I plan for us to make the most of it, so listen up. As long as Tetrarch's up on this stage, we're going to give you everything we've got, and I expect you to do the same for us. So Rock Bell, when we bring this one in, you better pick up the pace, motherfuckers. I am alive. Nothing's working, I come and hate it 
how many in this industry have tried to fuck with our heads telling us that I can't sing. There's something not unique about our band. We're not heavy enough, we're not catchy enough. There's no place for a band like ours because we don't fit into one fucking little box. We've never let any of this keep us down. We've always stayed motivated and true to ourselves. And we're so much stronger for having gone through that shit. This girl over here, Diamond's now become the first ever African-American female metal lead guitarist ever featured in major magazines around the world and on covers and that shit. I'd say that's pretty fucking unique. Thanks to the support from people like you who help keep heavy metal alive and the support of Sirius XM and radio stations across the world, we've now had multiple songs break the top 30 on the mainstream rock charts as a fucking metal band. We're proud of that shit. And I don't want y'all to worry, that dirty old van's a thing of the past, because now we're on one of those big ass tour buses you see parked back here, motherfuckers. But you know what still keeps us motivated and driven the most? Being able to do what we love, which is getting up on this stage, pouring our hearts out with all of you at the biggest hard rock and metal fest in America. Fucking welcome to Rock Bell! Saturday right now and I wanted to give y'all some updates. We went to the concert, I think it was like Thursday, and it was absolutely amazing. We saw all the bands that we wanted to see. And then the next day we went to the concert again and it ended up getting totally rained out, which was kind of a bummer. But the first part of the concert we got to see KISS and Ted Shark and a few other bands and then during the second day we were supposed to see Breaking Benjamin and I think there were like a few others but we ended up only being able to see Seether so it was kind of disappointing but they had like a red code going on during most of the the concert during that time period and so we had to like go into this this trailer with the sound crew and like wait out the storm basically. So it was interesting. 
they finally called off the concert about like two hours into the storm because everybody really wanted the show to go on but it just got to a point where the lightning was you know a little bit too strong and it was raining too much and it was just a little bit too risky to be out there but regardless it was a lot of fun we ended up going to waffle house and i got to meet everybody and then we got home at around like 2 a.m so totally worth it i would totally do it all over again but today we're gonna go downtown and i'll get some footage for y'all then <laughs> so it is currently Sunday right now and I wanted to give you guys some updates. I started reading a book called It's Okay to Feel Things and it's been pretty good so far. It's about 60 pages and it's basically just like a tiny little book of daily affirmations for people with anxiety. So I started that last night and I've been really enjoying it. Our game plan for today is we're going to go to Cape Canaveral National Seashore and I think I'm going to bring some books along with me. I'll probably bring Snowflower and the Secret Fan and I plan on bringing Love by Night and seeing if I can finish that. Yesterday was a lot of fun. We ended up going to a bookstore and we went to the Japanese store and i got some really cool emoji and they had like these sakura cherry blossom emojis that were really cute that i got and they actually had some pineapple ones fielding up boba tea and so that was really cool she'd never been or no she had been there before but uh she really likes that place and she likes the tea there so we got her some tea and then we hit a few bars and where else did we go? We got to see some flowers and I got to take some bug photography. So I was really excited about that. We went to a bookstore and we got some books and Brayden got two books and I got Call Me By Your Name. So now I have the hard copy of that and I'm excited to start that. We went to a soap store too and that was a lot of fun. Uh, so overall it was a really good day. We had a lot of good times. We left like right as a thunderstorm started. So I know that the third day of the festival actually probably got canceled, but overall I'm glad that we went out on the town and I'm glad that we're going to go out to the beach today. And like always, I'll show you guys some footage of it. 